Hello friends, I'm Dr. Pinky Devi Ayapan. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon practicing at Pink Apple Aesthetics Bangalore. Today, we are going to discuss something about inverted nipples. Inverted nipples are nothing but wherein the nipples which are normally supposed to be above the areola are either flat or get retracted, that is they get inverted. Inverted nipples are, uh, are quite a common condition seen both in men and women. It is seen in about 15 to 20 percent of the women. But in most of the cases, the woman is not aware or doesn't know what to do about it, doesn't know whom to approach it till they have an issue during lactation. Now, inverted nipple basically is due to uh, the um, lactiferous ducts which are uh, taking milk from the glands to the nipple are either shortened or there is some amount of adhesion which causes the nipple to get uh, inverted. It can be a congenital condition or it can be acquired. Congenital in the sense that uh, these are people who are born with it. So it's not uh, due to any uh, disease later on in life. But in certain condition that is acquired, it could be due to some infection causing some inflammation and the nipple getting uh, inverted. Or it could be due to some periductal carcinoma or ductal carcinoma. So it is very important in acquired cases especially to evaluate the patient completely and to see what is the cause for this uh, nipple inversion. Now, as uh, you could see in this picture, we are seeing the ducts which are going from the lactiferous glands to the nipples and when these get shortened or there is some amount of adhesion, the nipple gets inverted. Now, what are the grades of nipple inversion? So, we normally uh, have uh, categorized into three grades. In grade one, uh, it's um, nipple is inverted but with manual pressure it can get averted and we it stays there for a couple of hours or days and in grade 2 there is some amount of more fibrosis hence though nipple can be averted they go back when the pressure is relieved in grade 3 when the fibrosis are the condition more severe the nipples don't get averted at all so why is it important to know the grading of nipple inversion because the treatment if needed would depend on the grading of nipple inversion. Like in grade 1 and grade 2, we can, uh, the person can manage with manual uh, non-surgical techniques wherein they are putting a pressure on the nipple and which can be averted. And this uh, uh, ladies or this woman can go ahead and have a regular lactation and feeding, breastfeeding. But in grade 3, where the nipples are not getting averted at all, in these cases, not only can it cause psychological issue, can cause loss of confidence, but also it can cause the woman uh, to uh, suffer some infection, cracking of nipples, and also uh, can cause a difficulty or impossible to feed, breastfeed the child. So in such cases, we do have an option of surgical uh, correction of nipple inversion. So this surgical correction is uh, basically a very straightforward procedure. It's a simple procedure done under local anesthesia takes about half an hour and the woman can go back home the same day. In this we are injecting local anesthesia. I am making a small incision say 4 to 5 mm. Releasing the, all the adhesions under the nipple which is keeping the nipple inverted. Pull the nipple out and once this release is done, fill this basically space either with the dermal flaps or with suturing technique. So in suturing technique, what I do is I put two perpendicular sutures which will keep the nipple in, in um, aversion. And also I put a pursing suture at the base of the nipple to further strengthen, uh, strengthen the nipple aversion. Some cases I also give a dressing such that the nipple is maintained in aversion for a couple of days. The post procedure care is quite simple. The, there is little downtime to this procedure. So certain complications which can, we should be aware, there could be a chance of infection, there could be a chance of bleeding, hematoma. There can be temporary loss of sensation in the nipple and always there can be a slight risk of recurrence of nipple uh, inversion. So this is um, a, a straight OPD procedure done in uh, just half an hour time under local anesthesia. If you have a, uh, any further queries about nipple inversion, you can always contact us at Pink Apple Aesthetics. Thank you.